Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss compressibility and settlement of the soil from the chapter consolidation of soil. So, in this video, we are going to discuss the con concept of compressibility and settlement. So, let us discuss what is compressibility of the soil. When a soil mass is subjected to a compressive force, its volume decreases. The property of soil due to which a decrease in volume occurs under compressive force is known as compressibility of soil. So, suppose this is the soil mass which is under consideration. When it is subjected to a compressive force, its vertical dimension will get reduced. So, because of this reduction in vertical dimension, its volume will also decrease. This property is called as compressibility of the soil. Now, the second concept is settlement. The settlement of the structure is its vertical downward movement due to a volume decrease of soil on which it is built. So, suppose a structure is built on the soil. So, when soil will get compressed, its vertical dimension will get reduced. So, because of this reduction in vertical dimension, the structure which is lying on the soil will also move in downward direction. So, this phenomena is called as settlement of the structure. So, one thing we should note that thus when the soil get compressed, the structure lying on the soil will get settled. Okay. So, compressibility is related to soil and settlement is related to structure which is lying on the soil. So, in this video, we are going to discuss the con concept of compressibility and settlement. As we all know, the soil mass is consisting of three elements. First is solid particles, second is water and third is air. So, for better understanding, let us consider the soil mass. Here, in this diagram, this blue particle or blue dots represent the solid particle. And whatever space is there in between the solid particles, which is represented by orange color, is called as void space. This void space is partially filled with water and partially filled with air. But when this space is entirely filled with water, then the soil mass is considered as saturated. And when this void space is entirely filled with air, that means there is no water present, then the soil is considered as dry soil. So, coming back to compressibility of the soil, the compression of the soil can occur due to one or more of the following causes. The first cause is compression of solid particles and water in the void. The size of the solid particles is very small and the compression of solid particles is very minute. Also, we know that water is incompressible. That's why compression of the soil due to this first reason is very minute and can be neglected. The second reason for the compression of soil is compression and expulsion of air in the void. As we all know, the air is compressible material. So, this causes one of the main causes for the compression of soil. When we apply pressure on the soil mass, the air which is present in the void gets compressed. Also, some air from the soil mass will move outward to the surrounding area where pressure is low. The third cause for the compression is expulsion of water in the void. Same way, the water which is present in the void will move outward where pressure is low. This is also one of the main reasons for the compression of soil mass. So, compressibility of the soil is identified in a two ways. First is compaction and second is consolidation. 
So first we will discuss compaction. So let us consider an area where soil is in loose state or an area where recent landfill has been done. So soil is in loose condition and we want to construct an engineering structure on that soil. So it won't be possible to get a stable structure on that soil. So in order to construct the structure, we will have to improve the engineering properties of soil such as bearing capacity, shear strength or reducing permeability of soil. So in order to do that, we have to do the compaction of the soil to improve. So compaction is an artificial process. That means we deliberately do the compaction to improve the engineering property of the soil by applying dynamic load using mechanical means such as rollers, tempers, vibrators. So as long as we apply the load that is dynamic load, the compaction process will take place and once we stop the loading then compaction will stop. That means compaction is an instantaneous process and it won't last over a long period like months and years. So one more difference between compaction and consolidation we should note that the compaction takes place before or compaction is done before the construction of the structure to improve the engineering property of the soil by artificial process whereas consolidation takes place after the construction of structure naturally. So now let us discuss consolidation. Once the structure is constructed on the soil, the soil will get settled because of the load of that structure and that structure will also get settled. The process of compression of the soil because of the static loading applied by that structure is called consolidation. This process takes place over a longer period as that structure is permanently constructed on the soil. So as long as structure is there, soil will go on compressing. So this is a gradual process and this process takes place at very slow rate. One thing we should note that this is a natural process. We don't do consolidation deliberately. It occurs naturally. The consolidation process is again divided into three stages. First is initial consolidation, second is primary consolidation and third is secondary consolidation. The initial consolidation is the consolidation which takes place immediately after the construction of structure. And the main causes for the compression is compression of solid particles, compression of water and compression of air. Also expulsion of air. Once the initial consolidation is over, primary consolidation will take place. With the main cause of primary consolidation is expulsion of water. And after primary consolidation is finished, secondary consolidation will take place. The main cause of the secondary consolidation is the plastic readjustment of the solid particles of the soil. Thank you for watching.